hello guys welcome to engineers academy do consider subscribing my channel so that uh, youtube recommends my channel to many more viewers like uh, you guys now we are going to solve this problem which says that a force acts at the origin of a coordinate system in direction defined by theta x and theta z uh, so theta x is this is theta x right theta x is 75 degrees and theta z is 130 degrees knowing that the y component of the force is 300 pound determine the angle theta y theta x and theta z are given we are required to find theta y the angle with the positive y axis and the other components right so we are given theta x equals to 75 degree we are given a force which is making 75 degree with the positive x axis and theta z with uh, the angle with the z-axis is 130 degree and we are given um, the y component f of y equals to plus 300 pounds and we are required to find in part a we are required to find theta y and in b we are required to find the remaining component so we are given f of y we need to find f of x and we need to find f of z now we know that uh, in terms of theta x theta y and theta z we can always write that f of x is f cos of theta x and f of y is f cos of theta y and f of z is f cos of theta z and similarly if we represent that force f as a cartesian vector so we can write that f is equal to f x i plus f y j plus f z k and in terms of these angles we can represent f of x f of y and f of z by these so let me write this is f f f x is f cos of theta x i similarly f y is f cos of theta y j and f z is f cos of theta z k and similarly if i take f as common from all these three right so we can write this is f vector and f and so that will be cos of theta x i plus cos of theta z k and now we know that the the vector cartesian vector can always be written as the magnitude times the unit vector so let's say that that lambda is the unit vector let me write that lambda is the unit vector so f the magnitude times the unit vector so this means that if we compare this with this so everything written in the bracket is the unit vector so we can say that lambda the unit vector for force f is cos of theta x i plus cos of theta y j plus cos of theta z k and since the magnitude of the unit vector is one so if we apply the pythagoras theorem uh, since this is the unit vector and the magnitude of the unit vector is one and these are the components of the unit vector so by taking by taking the sum of the squares of these components and taking the square root that must give us one so we can say that um, by applying the pythagoras theorem we can say that cos square theta x plus cos square theta y plus cos square theta z under the square root that must be equals to one and if we take square on both side so this will cancel out and one square is one so we can say that the sum of the squares of the cosines of the angles will always be equal to one so this is very important right so theta x theta y and theta z these are the uh, coordinate direction angles these are the uh, the angles with the positive x y and z axis and cos square the sum of the cos square of these angles will always be equal to one now we are given theta x we are given this theta x which is 75 degrees and we are given 
this theta z which is 130 degree so from this equation we can write that um, cos of square of theta x theta x is 75 degrees plus theta y is not known and similarly cos square theta z is given which is 130 degrees this is equal to 1 so we can write that cos square theta y is equal to 1 minus cos square 75 degrees minus cos square 130 degrees and if we take the square root so we will be able to find cos of theta y so this is equal to cos of theta y so cos of theta y is 1 minus um, cos of 75 square minus cos of 130 square so this gives me cos of theta y equals to 0 0.720 or we can say that this is plus minus 0 0.721 let's say now we are given f of y is we can say that f of y f of y is equal to f cos of theta y equals to plus 300 pounds now if this f of y is plus then the cos of theta y value must be positive since if we put this value as negative then we will get uh, the answer the f of y magnitude as negative and we are given that the f of y value is positive so this means that cos of theta y value cos of theta y value is plus 0 0.721 so now using using this equation we can say that f into cos of theta y which is plus 0 0.721 equals to plus 300 and f is equal to and remember that the magnitude of the force f that cannot be negative right since this is the magnitude this is always positive so then this will be f will be equal to um, 300 divided by 0 0.721 so 300 divided by 0 0.721 this gives us the force magnitude equals to 416 let's say this is 416 approximately so 416 pounds since f of y magnitude is in pounds so this must be in pounds now we know the force magnitude we can find f of y right f of y uh, f of y is given we can find f of x and and um, f z and similarly we can find theta y right so we, if cos of theta y is this then we can say that theta y the solution to part a will be theta y will be equal to cos inverse 0 0.721 so cos inverse 0 0.721 this is 43 point so theta y equals to 43.86 degrees this is theta y and in part b we can say that f of x is f cos of theta x now f magnitude is known which is 416 theta x is also known theta x is given which is 75 degrees so 416 cos of 75 this gives us f of x equals 207.67 pounds or we can say this is approximately 108 let's see 108 pounds this is f of x similarly fz will be f 
cos of theta z and this is 416 cos of the theta z angle is 130 so 130 so 416 cos of 130 so fz is minus 267 pounds now we can write the force f as a cartesian vector so force vector is equal to fx fx is 108 this is positive the y component is plus 300 that is given and the z component is negative so minus 267 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f which is given in terms of uh, theta x theta z and f of y so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston